And today we are going to turn a normal door into a smart door. We are going to use either the CP2 or the CP4 from Azevis. Now, if you are one of those that are tired of going to your door or dragging yourself to the door to see who's on the other side, only to struggle with a useless people and you want to know who's at your door even when you're not at home, then open only if it's worth it. And on the example that you are seeing, it is completely worth it. But that aside, while seeing everything clearly on a big screen or on your phone, one of these smart peoples might be the solution that you are looking for. Inside the package comes with the display, with the user guide, the accessories to mount and the people, which looks awesome. If we take a look at it, if we are not careful, we will not distinguish from a regular one. We need to pay attention to see it's a camera or else we wouldn't see. Now, I already placed these screws right over here. It comes with all of these with different measures. And you can check out on the link down below if it fits your door, but it will fit most of the doors. And it's easy as removing the old one and then inserting the screws according to the width of our door. And once it is, we just need to place it in. And then with this adapter here, which we will place on the other end of the door, it will fit here. And then we just need to hang the display right over here. So easy as this. Inside the package comes with everything necessary for the installation. The people is completely different from the CP2, a lot more visible. It also has a doorbell button, which is awesome. The display is different as well with a docking station, I would say, that we can remove and then we can just slide it back. Actually, we can charge it via USB type C on this side, or we can remove it and then charge it via USB type C. Now I say remove it because the last unit that I did install similar to this one took about six or seven months to discharge the battery. So it's not a bad idea at all to remove it, charge and then put it back. It will charge quite fast. It also has the micro SD card slot right over here that we can insert. And in terms of the installation, very similar to the CP2, the system is the same. We will choose the screws according to the width of our door, put them here and then just slide into the hole and then we will need to secure this part with the screws actually this way around once it's all secured we just need to place in the monitor like this and we are ready to go now these two models are completely different in all aspects but they serve the main purpose which is to completely eliminate our old people which we can put our eye but we will struggle to see and in this way we will be able to see on a big screen without even getting close to the door and this is just awesome and that task will be accomplished by the cp4 or the cp2 but if we compare one to another really quickly for example the design of the cp2 which is my personal favorite in this particular case it's really elegant really simple and the people will assemble the original people at least on the outside but just to say that this one here does not have PIR so no motion detection it will not record automatically we will be able to record and I will show you that on the app in just a few moments but we will need to record manually we can take screenshots manually as well but the main purpose is to be very similar to the original but with a big screen which we can, of course, if we are not at home, check out on our phone if we have any movement or not at our door. On the other hand, the CP4 is fully automated. We have seen here a couple of years ago, I did install a similar one. I will leave the link down below at my parents' house. It is awesome, still working today with a great battery duration, which we will talk in just a few moments. But right over here, it's a system that will detect people. It will detect movement. It will record that movement. So we can check Check out later on what happened at our door and it has a completely different design as we can check right over here it also has another difference because this one is a touch screen and this one is not a touch screen so i would say that the cp2 is a display 
display, a large display to replace our people. This one is a large display to replace our people, but it has a lot more advanced features and a different look. Now, in terms of the installation, it's practically the same for both. So we just need to remove the old people by unscrewing it and it works on every single door. If you are wondering that your door is different from mine, it's not. We just need to push it harder or less harder, but that is it. Then we use the included screws to fit our door depending on the thickness we will need to select that and for example the cp2 we just need to attach the base with those screws and then pass the people and the wire run the connecting cable and plug it in that is it if we use the cp4 as an example it has a bit of a different system we will need to screw to the charging base instead of a support so it will double as the mount for the screws and also allowing the monitor to snap in into place so it's easy to assemble doesn't matter the model that you choose now battery wise as i was saying before i did assemble one of these systems at my parents house about two or three years ago and the video will be down below and my concern was that we don't have outlets near the doors here at portugal it's usually that we don't have not really sure if you have where you live but here we don't so that was one concern and although we could put a wire it wouldn't look look good but the thing is that one of these systems very similar to this lasted about six or eight months and we are talking about a system that when is new we are always playing around and that was the case of my dad so i imagine that the other charge that he did it lasted longer so in my opinion we don't need to have this plugged in because six to eight months is a lot and you can check down below on the video description for the specifications which i'm sure that on the SFS site will have the average time that you will have in terms of battery usage. So I would say that when the battery is being depleted, which is what my dad does, it just disconnects and attaches to the power adapter with the USB Type-C cable. It will charge overnight, it will be charged in about four hours or so, and it will be ready for another six months without any issues whatsoever. So battery-wise, Awesome. And now with the SAVs app, so that we can see some differences between the CP2 and the CP4, which by the way are exactly here, so that I can show you a little bit better. Now, let's start with the CP2, which is a simpler system. So if we open the app, this is what we are going to check out. By the way, I also have the HP7 right over here working at my door. That one is full time, 24 7. It works great. If you want to check that out, link will be down below. But if we check here on the CP2, we will be able to see the battery level which lasts for months without any exaggeration and we also have the live view so if i go to live view it will um, connect to the device and there we go this is a live view i can rotate but at this moment i'm recording the screen so that probably is not a good idea but let's anyway do that and see if it doesn't work I, if you don't see the image well i will cut it if the image doesn't if i can't see the image well we will cut it but this is the kind of image that we could see if we were on a couch, for example, before answering the door or even like this. Now, here we have multiple choices like taking a snapshot, for example. Can you see the PIR alarm from the CP4? This is important because this is one of the major differences and we will talk about that in just a few moments. We can also record. I can record footage manually and we can also change the definition, which at this moment is in full HD. We can go to high definition or standard and we also have the option to see nearby the devices and enter full screen. Basically, this is it regarding the app for the CP2. We also have a few options here and we can also share this with other people. So if we want to share it with family members, we will be just fine doing it. So it has the battery level indication, message notifications, which we can uh, say yes or no to the offline notification, then image settings, really basic, just with the OST and logo watermark, and then the screen settings, which we can change brightness and we can also change the auto lock screen time basically that is it and then privacy settings we also have a customized privacy area so if there's an area that you want to block out you don't want to for example a neighbor's door or something like that we can block that and also the video encryption and basically this is it regarding the cp2 it's a really simple device now let's go to the cp4 right over here and if we get in we will see the events so 
just today we have a lot of events right over here and basically because I'm here and it detects the movement and uh, it will record that movement. Now this is optional, we can disable all this and if we go to the live view right over here for example it will show me live view so at this moment like the CP2 did but one of the differences is that we can talk so if I enable here I can um, call even if I'm not at home so now it will be doing feedback so let's stop the talking but the idea is sorry but the idea is basically this even if I'm not at home and if I receive uh, a notification I can talk to that person even if I don't know that person so this is another difference between the CP2 and the CP4 we can record we can snapshot like we did on the CP2 we can talk we can choose the definition and we also have picture in picture mode so a lot more options if, if we go to the settings here we will see that it has a lot more options as well than the CP2 so if we go to intelligent detection this is one of the main differences it will detect people and it will snapshot and will record video during that as an option of course and we can uh, choose all this and we can of course customize all this to record to our micro SD cards and whatnot and then we also have image settings which are more detailed than we see previously on the CP2, the audio settings as well which is non-existent on the CP2, the recording list which at this moment I don't have anything and then privacy, network device information and to share the device as well. So as we can see the CP4 is different from the CP2 in a lot of scenarios but basically PIR intelligent motion sensor and automatically sending notifications and recording the footage if we want. So for anyone wanting to turn a normal door into a smart door I would say that these are two really interesting solutions. If it was me and I'm really sorry to be biased but I would select the CP2 especially because of the design and I would select this one although I do love the functionality of the movement detection and the automatic recording on this one right over here. Also having the ring option here so we can ring at the door or we can ring right over here so it has a lot more technology built in but this one here as a classic style which is really well accomplished. I will leave links down below for the two systems. Hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.